Today, the Church celebrates the Sunday of the Word of God as requested by Pope Francis in his 2019 apostolic letter, Aperuit Ilis. On this day, Pope Francis declares, the third Sunday in ordinary time is to be devoted to the celebration, study, and dissemination of the Word of God. We will see how the readings for today are precisely on the importance of hearing the Word of God with repentance and with joy. So sorrow and joy. The first reading situated in the 400s BC describes the priest Ezra reading scripture to Jewish people who have returned to Jerusalem after having been exiled in Babylon. As John Bergsma comments, this public reading of scripture on a wooden pulpit that the first reading identifies as made for the purpose is held by many to be the origin of the liturgy of the word that we are engaging in right now. One noticeable difference between the liturgy of the word before a congregation of people and our liturgy of the word is the time it took to hear the word of God. We are used to hearing a few minutes of sacred scripture read to us in the context of the Mass. However, if we look closely at today's reading from Nehemiah, the first liturgy of the word was hours, and lo hours long and lasted from early morning until midday. Obviously, we will likely not increase the time of our liturgy of the word from a few minutes to a few hours. However, the responses of the Jewish people to this first liturgy of the word should also be how we respond to hearing God's word proclaimed during Mass. The first response of the Jewish people upon hearing the word of God proclaimed was, they are sinners, and, as encouraged by Ezra, that they're so loved by God that they're not to mourn, but rather rejoice and even eat fat and drink sweet wine. These two responses, sorrow and joy, were recently emphasized by Bishop Cousins, who described an encounter with God, with Jesus as Lord, is first that I am a sinner, and at the same time I am deeply loved. Sorrow and joy combined. At Mass, we are invited by God to experience these two responses, that we are sinners, and we are deeply loved by God, that although we are sinful, yet Jesus is inviting us to be united with us by the reception of his divine body and blood. By way of anticipation of the two movements of Mass, the Liturgy of the Word, when we hear God's Word and are called to repentance, and the Liturgy of the Eucharist, when we are united to Jesus by the reception of His presence hidden under the appearance of bread and wine, after the Jewish people heard God's Word proclaimed to them by the priest Ezra, they similarly became so aware of their sins that they wept, and then Ezra commanded them to believe in God's loving mercy by telling them not to grieve but to rejoice and eat fat and drink sweet wine. The wine we drink is not merely sweet wine, but is much more, for we believe behind the appearance of wine is the blood of Jesus, Lord, risen Lord Jesus, who loves us so much, even though we are sinners, that he wants to unite himself to us individually and corporately as a people, as united by his body and blood, knit together as a spiritual, loving, caring family, whose father is God the Father, whose mother is the Blessed Mother, and whose elder brother is Jesus our Lord. God bless.